Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is another what's for dinner video. In this video I'm going to share five easy recipes that is perfect for your family. For more information on these recipes be sure to look at my description box for any links or recipes. We're going to start off real simple with spaghetti and meatballs. I am adding to my pasta sauce some onion powder, some garlic powder, and I also use some Parmesan pesto sprinkle from our local seasoning shop. And I'm just going to turn that sauce onto low so it is warming up while I do the pasta. I'm going to put my Italian style meatballs into the oven. Just follow the directions for your frozen meatballs and just getting that all nice and cooked. Once your water is boiling, you're gonna add your spaghetti. This is just the traditional spaghetti, and I have a little helper here who wanted to help, but he realized that it's hot with how hot the water was boiling, duh. So he tried to help as much as he could. Also added some Texas toast into our convection oven for about five minutes just to make sure it was cooked. Then I'm gonna drain the pasta. I have a colander in the sink, so it's easier for me to do it that way. Pull out your meatballs when they're done. Get your Texas toast out when it's done. And there you have it, a yummy spaghetti and meatballs dinner for your family. This next recipe is our Mexican chicken rice recipe. I actually got this from my mother-in-law. But what you're gonna do is cook a package of yellow rice and one pot and then what I like to do is I like to boil some chicken breast in another pot just to fully cook it. You just need any kind of cooked chicken breast for this cubed but it's easier for me to just kind of throw it into a big pot and cook it that way. For this recipe you also need chopped green bell pepper or red bell pepper. Me and my husband love extra bell peppers in this rice dish so I used a full red be bell pepper and a green bell pepper. Once the bell pepper is all chopped up, you're going to just put that in a bowl. Add some black beans, just a canned, and I drained that. Also, some corn. Now, it asks for one can of corn. My husband doesn't like too much of it, so I kind of put half of a can of corn into the bowl. You're also going to add a can of Rotel. And here I am cubing up the chicken to put into that bowl as well. Once the chicken is cut, you're gonna just put that into your big mixing bowl as well. And then once your yellow rice is cooked, you're going to dump that into the bowl as well. You're also going to get some pepper jack cheese. I actually grate it myself. I think you can get shredded pepper jack cheese. If not, just grate 12 ounces of pepper jack cheese. You're gonna put about two cups of cheese into that large bowl with all of the other ingredients. Once everything is in the bowl, you're just going to give it a good stir to mix up all of the ingredients into the bowl. So I'm going to spray down a 13 by 9 baking dish and I'm going to spoon the mixture into the baking dish. So 
sprinkling it with remaining cheese on top. Now you're going to bake this covered at 350 for about 30 minutes. So cover it with tin foil and then uncover it and bake it for 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted. Once it's done, you are able to scoop it up or serve it to your family. And this is so delicious. I highly recommend you guys check it out. I also like some salsa on the side. This next dinner is an easy grill night with London broil, zucchini, and a sweet potato for me, a baked potato for my husband. So I'm just getting the baked potato and sweet potatoes ready for the oven. I like to poke them with forks, get a little bit of olive oil and salt in some aluminum foil, rub it all down, and wrap those babies up. You're going to get them in the oven about 400, 450 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour long, depending on how big your potato is. For my London broil marinade, I have lemon juice, Worcestershire sauce, vegetable oil, soy sauce, mustard, and garlic cloves. And I did that earlier the day before, and I just had it resting in the refrigerator till it was ready to go. I have been requested some crescent rolls, so we got the good old Phil Pillsbury crescent rolls. I got those all nice and ready and into the oven. Meanwhile, my hubby cut up some zucchini to go onto the grill as well. So this is when you have your London broil and your zucchini and everything into the grill and you just kind of wait for them to finish cooking. About this time, you're going to get the crescent rolls out, and I have the sweet potato out. The baked potatoes still need a little bit more time. We cut up the London broil, got a little bit more well done than we preferred, but it was still delicious. And there you have it, our London broil dinner. Next dinner is our chicken fajitas. I marinate the chicken overnight with soy sauce, lemon juice, lime juice, Texas peat, red pepper flakes, paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder. Also getting some refried beans in a separate pot ready to go. While that chicken cooks and is almost done, I add in some red and green bell peppers into the pan. I add a little bit of water to help everything cook and nothing get too like encrusted onto the pan. Mix that around, get all of that nice and cooked. And that's pretty much it. A really quick, easy dinner. I warm up some cheese dip into the microwave and then you just assemble your tacos or nachos as you would like. I, we add a little bit of shredded lettuce onto ours, Mexican cheese, and this is such an easy, quick, delicious meal for your family. The next dinner is a sheet pan shrimp and asparagus dinner that I also made with some sweet potato and baked potato for me and my husband as well. So you're going to get all of your asparagus onto your tin foil on your pan, about a tablespoon of olive oil and just drizzle that on top. You're going to add about a clove of garlic. You're gonna add some salt and pepper and you're gonna just mix that all together. You're gonna line those babies up nice on the pan, just all kind of facing the right direction just to make it cook more evenly and look prettier. In a 400 degree oven, you're gonna cook that for about five minutes. I earlier had my sweet potato and baked potato into the oven, similar cooked as it was for the London broil day. So you're gonna start on the sauce for your shrimp. I, it's about one tablespoon of olive oil. Some garlic some salt, pepper, and some paprika. And you're just gonna mix that all together and you're gonna spoon that onto your shrimp. 
I also like to kind of turn over the asparagus before putting it back into the oven just to make sure everything is fully cooked. You're going to cut up some small pieces of butter and you're just going to put that randomly over the asparagus and the shrimp to give it a little bit more flavor. Squeeze a little lemon juice on and put it back in the oven for about six more minutes. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this what's for dinner video. If you try any of these recipes, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know. Again, I will have everything linked down below for you. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.